Hey everyone, this is DWS Darius. Last week I gave you guys a look at how beautiful my discus were. And today I want to give you guys 10 answers to common questions about discus. So right now you're looking at my 210 gallon aquarium. And as always, the glare is terrible because I'm surrounded by windows. So throughout this video, I will be overlapping this video with some images and videos of my discus. But yeah, this is going to be 10 answers to some common questions about discus from my past two months experience of keep in mind. Okay everyone, so for these questions I wanted to come straight forward and provide as much information as possible. I did create these questions based upon questions that I first had before I kept discus and just overall questions that will provide the most amount of information to you guys. So first off, are discus a hard fish to take care of? So I've been keeping discus for two months now and I definitely will say that they are not hard to take care of. The only thing about discus is the fact that these fish um, desire a lot more protein, they desire to eat a lot more, and any fish that eats a lot will poop a lot. And because of that you do have to do your water changes, if not the water will be contaminated and there's no fish that will tolerate contaminated waters. That's the only thing about discus, they eat a lot, and because they eat a lot, you gotta keep your waters clean of all the poop that comes out of them, but that's the only thing. All it takes is a few more water changes, and you can have happy and healthy discus. So when it comes to keeping discus, are they hard? I give you a big fat no. Okay, so I mentioned that discus love to eat, which leads me to my next question. What do you feed your discus? So discus are a fish that need a lot of protein. The protein helps with their overall growth, and with their colors. So I feed mine as a very mixed diet. I feed mine as frozen blood worms, frozen beef heart, and you know beef heart is a very high in protein diet. I feed mine as different flakes. I feed mine um, Hikari Master for Delight. That's a very high in protein pellet, but you know that pellet is about this big. So when I soak, I soak it first, I let it get dissolved, and then I put it in the water and they eat it from there. I also feed mine as Hikari Stinking Sickly Gold. All these different Hikari pellets, I soak them so they could get soft and I feed them to them. And they also get mealworms and stuff like that. So just an overall diet that contains a lot of protein because these fish definitely will appreciate it. One thing you do got to consider is your tank mates because not all the fish can eat the amount of protein that your um, discus can eat. And that's why I like to hand feed my discus. Not all the, a lot of fish will come to my hand, but the discus come right away. And so that makes it a lot easier giving them the protein and letting these other guys um, back away, which don't really need it. Okay, everyone. So the next question about discus is, are they aggressive? So I know when I first was looking into discus, my perception was that these fish are just some of the most peaceful freshwater fish available. I thought that there was no aggression at all. However, that's definitely not the case. Now, of course, these fish are not overly aggressive, like um, green terrors, Jack Dempsey's, and some of those just mean cichlids. However, they do show some attitude at times. If you ever kept angel fish, I find that they are very similar. They will pick on one another at times. They will build a hierarchy between one another, so that's very important. If you keep discus, it's either you keep one, you keep a pair, a mated pair, or you keep a colony. Other than that, they will fight each other if you keep too small of a group. So keep that in mind. And they also may pick on fish smaller. And I've also seen mine in my planet tank um, hunt my platys, so they will hunt and eat smaller fish. So discus are pretty aggressive. Once again, not overly aggressive, but they do show attitude, so always keep that in mind. Okay, so that leads me to my next question, which is what are the best tank mates for discus? When it comes to discus, I've seen them kept with all different types of fish, from marijuana to cichlids to different types of tetra. And I think it all depends on your specific fish because you know all fish have different attitudes, different tolerance levels, and it all comes down to that individual fish that you have. However, I do have some recommendations, one of which is the barb. You know, it's all different types of barbs, all different colors, and I think that the colors of the barbs really help complement the colors of the discus. Another cool group of fish that is very common with discus are tetra. And I just think that whole small group of tetra with a big fish, that whole scenario is just awesome to look at. Just make sure the tetra are not small enough to be eaten. You have your rasbora, which have a similar effect as the tetra. Um, milder cichlids like your angelfish, your rams, your um, akara, and stuff like that that are not too mean. When it comes to fish that you want to avoid, you know, fish that are just overly aggressive like your red devils, jack dempsey's, green terrors, and stuff like that. Of course, African cichlids are out of the picture. Um, also, you want to stay away from fish that are just extremely fast because, once again, discus really need to eat. They really need to um, consume as much proteins as possible. And fast fish can be potentially 
dangerous when it comes to just that competition with eating. They can't eat all the food before the discus depending on how much you feed them. So that's always a concern and it'd probably be better off if you stay away from faster fish that will compete for food. So that's a look at tank mates for discus. Okay, so the next question about discus is what is the best tank setup? And what I mean by that is just your layout, whether you have a planted tank, a hard escape tank, a plain tank, um, what is best from what I noticed. So I keep fish in my planted tank and in my 210, which is just a hard escaped aquarium. And I do find that the fish in my planted tank look a little bit more comfortable, just because you know in the planted tank you have all the plants that they can hide behind. And just it looks like they have a lot more to do in the planted tank. When I look at the discus in my 210, a lot of times they just sit there motionless, um, just sitting in the flow. However, compared to the discus in my planted tank, they're always on the move. They really never have any moments when they're just still. They're always looking through the, the grass, looking for platy fry, and just they always have something to do. So when it comes to the tank setup, I think if you can, they'll do best in a planted tank just because of the security of the plants. And just because I guess there's a lot more for them to do compared to just a tank that's open and um, plain. The next question is, are discus a shy fish? You know, some fish are just generally shy. The entire species of that fish is shy, like salvanite cichlids. Um, none of them are out right now, but salvanite cichlids are a fish that I've kept. That the entire species of this fish is a pretty shy fish. With discus, I find that it's not the same. The two in this tank are pretty shy. However, the two and the two tent eat on my hand, so I guess it all depends on a Pacific fish. In general, discus can become very social and very comfortable with you to the point where they can eat out your hand. It's just a matter of how often and how much time you spend with them and just the overall tank setup as far as tank mates. So when it comes to the shyness, I find that these fish generally are not shy. Of course, they all have their different personalities, but I'm pretty sure they all can be worked on to be fish that are very comfortable with you. Okay, so the next question is, what is the growth rate of discus? I think this question is pretty self-explanatory. Discus are a fish that eat a lot of protein, they eat a lot in general, and any fish that eats a lot will grow pretty fast. Mine, um, I bought them, as I said before, two months ago, and they have doubled in size. So they definitely are a fast-growing fish. And I guess, just like with all cichlids, once they reach their adult size, they will start to slow down. But for now, they do grow pretty fast, and it's been two inches and two months, so I, I'll say they grow an inch per month, a pretty fast growing fish. Okay, so the next question is how to tell if your discus is healthy. One of the things I noticed about discus is that when they're very stressed out, they'll produce this mucus across their body. It's not the same as when they're breeding because you know when they breed, they produce the mucus on their side so that their fry can eat it. But um, this type of mucus is more darker, more ashy looking, and that's a pure sign of stress. I remember when I first Unbox mine, they were just terrified and that mucus was all over them. So that's definitely one thing you want to avoid. But when it comes to overall health, it's pretty basic. You want to make sure they have all their fins, they have a nice plump belly so that you can make sure they're getting their protein, and just that their colors are not faded. And that's the signs of a healthy discus. Okay, so the next question is what fish can I compare discus to? So for those of you who want an idea of what discus are like, I think angelfish are just the most similar as far as aggression and just overall behavior. If you've ever kept angelfish before, I think you can keep discus as long as you do a little bit more water changes because you know discus have a bit more of an appetite. But other than that, when it comes to aggression, when it comes to overall just activity in the aquarium, I find that discus are the closest or angelfish are the closest thing to discus. Okay everyone, the last question I wanna answer for you guys is are discus worth the price? We know discus are some of the most expensive freshwater fish out there. Juveniles can range between $40 to $60, and adults can cost anywhere between $150 to $250, and sometimes even higher than that. And the question is, do I think they're worth the high price? Now this is strictly based upon my opinion, and I'm gonna say no. The only reason is because I think if the discus price was a little bit lower, a lot more people can keep these fish and enjoy them. Um, maybe keep the adults at $60 and the juveniles at $20, and um, I think a lot of people who want discus can keep them when they are that price range. However, at the same time, when you keep discus at such a high price, it keeps them safer because only people that are really willing to take care of them will spend that much money. Um, so in my opinion, I think that the price could be dropped a little bit, but let me know what you guys think. Are discus worth the huge price? Of course, if you never kept them, you're missing part of the experience, but these fish are awesome. They are beautiful, but they are expensive. Let me, so let me know what you guys think. So YouTube, that has been a look at my discus. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comment section below and I'll get to you. 
Um, as always, if you liked this video, hit that thumbs up. If you want more, hit that subscribe button because more is coming. And that will be the wrap of this video. See you all later.